Hey my baby Bellas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to set up my brand new Hobo Nietzsche Weeks. Yes, I jumped on the bandwagon and I got myself a Hobo Nietzsche. I know it's a trend, but I think I'm actually going to make this a keeper because I'm so in love with this paper. I know some people hate it and some people love it. It's either a love or hate relationship with this Tomoe River paper. And for me, it's a win. I love it so much. So I am going to set this up with you. And my plan is to just like set up the tabs and then put in some inserts, put on a cover, and just get this ready for planning. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks Spring Edition. Yeah, Hobonichi Weeks Spring. So it starts with March. And I did do some washi taping and some stickering just to get a taste of this paper and see if I like it or not. Let me show you an example. Here we go. Okay. So I started with this week uh, in March. I think I got the Hobonichi the week after, so I went back and just planned um, a week before because that's all I could remember of what I did. And I'm still trying to figure out what to use it for. I think as time progresses, you'll see different layouts from me. So for the first week, I did just like a little bit of memory planning. And then I skipped a week, and then this is the week that I'm filming. Uh, well, this week just passed, so I did this layout, and I like this better. So I think I'm going to start using it as an actual planner and just write out the main tasks that I have to do for the day because it's so um, lightweight, I can actually take this with me wherever I go so that I have a planner to jot down appointments or other to-dos. I've never had a planner where I was able to carry it with me because I've always been using happy planners. Don't get me wrong, I love happy planners. I'm still using my four happy planners for this year. I haven't jumped ship completely, but I do love the fact that this is lightweight. Anyway, enough rambling and let's get this baby ready for the year. So the first thing I want to do is to add tabs on the side to mark each month. There's a lot of cute tabs out there from planner shops. Just search on Etsy, uh, Hobonichi Weeks tabs or dividers, and you'll find a lot of them. But what I was thinking of doing was I wanted to use this cute little Molang bookmark sticky notes and then just have Molang and his friends, I think it's a he, correct me if I'm wrong, his friends alongside the planner. They're sticky notes so I will have to just use some adhesive tape to glue them down. But let's experiment. I'm going to try this out for the first time with you on camera. Aren't these the cutest? Look, they even have the little paws. I'm going to have a few of these sets in my shop. I think I might just have four of these, but I'll put it in the shop in case you want to get it also. But just remember, it's limited stock and I probably won't restock them. The spring edition starts with the last week of February, so I'm not going to mark that. And I'm going to start with March, but even though this says two, March actually starts over here, so I'm going to use this page as the first tab. So let's see how, I don't know how this is going to work out. I might have to cut him, because I don't want it poking out too far. Yeah, see, like, that's a little too much. So it's actually good that it's a sticky note, because I can take it off and reposition it until I figure out how I want it. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, adorable. So I'm going to cut it exactly to this line where the box starts for the number. And then I'll glue it down. So if you have a Hobonichi Weeks or any type of Hobonichi, I mean, they've been out forever. I've, I've seen them for, oh my gosh, I can't even remember how long I've been watching videos. I used to watch videos of people doing like art journaling in their Hobonichi 
Techo, is, it, is that what it's called? The bigger size? So yeah, they're not a new thing, but all of a sudden it's become a huge trend. And I think that's what finally pushed me to get it. I've always wanted the big one because I really love seeing like Rainbowholic and some other. There's a lot of other channels that I watch, but I've always loved watching them do art journaling. I don't know why. I just used to think they're like, like when I was in college, I used to think, oh, it's so, it's too expensive for me. And I guess now that this has become such a trend, I guess that was the push that I needed to finally get a Hobonichi. And I'm so happy I did. Okay, should I stick it on like that? All right, we'll see. Well, the good thing is I'm going to use my very, very favorite Tombow Mono Dots adhesive um, runner. This is not sponsored at all. They have no idea that I exist, but I love this so much. And I always get the Mono Dots adhesive, not the... There's another one that's not, like, speckled. I forgot what it's called. But it's in my Amazon shop, this one. So I love this one because... Um, if you get glue anywhere else, like on your desk or anywhere on your page, you can just use an eraser and erase it off and the adhesive comes off completely. And the thing, great thing about this is that it's repositionable to some extent, but then once you stick it down, it'll stay for good. Like it's, re it's a really good adhesive, but it also gives you a little bit of wiggle room in case you mess up. Okay. All right, there we go. So I stuck them out. I'm going to take it off and just see what happens if I put it a little bit more to the inside, what it would look like. This one, uh, it's like Molang's barely peeking out, so I'm going to go back to my original position. So, you know what? This, like, one day... If I can get the funds, I want to make Mallow page flags one day if I get enough support. That would be, that's a huge dream of mine. I would love to get Mallow on all types of stationery. I started out with washi and I'm going to expand on that. And then hopefully I can expand and do page flags. Um, so that was March. I'm going to use this one that I cut. And I'm going to overlap this bunny next to it so that I can get the right mark, uh, the cut line mark. There, so I know exactly where to cut. Yeah. So then, actually, I should do these on 12 of them first and then stick them down so that they match up. So I'm going to do that and I'll speed this part up. family. So now I'm going to glue all of the bunnies down on their respective pages so that they become a cute little uh, page marker family. Okay, so the Hobonuchi stay said this is April because there's they still have like two days of April left on this week, but I like to put my marker exactly when the month starts. So even though this is four, I'm going to mark this for May instead of the next page. But if you're following along with me and you're setting up your Hobonichi as well, obviously feel free to do it however you like. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so let me show you the beauty of this glue. Now you can see it in action. So here's what happened. 
I wanted to make this May, but I just glued down exactly where the four is, and then I realized it should actually be like one grid over. So I already put the glue down, so what I'm going to do is erase it. I just have like a regular white eraser. And look at this. I don't think Tombow even advertises this, that, that you can just erase it off. I think that's just something I discovered one day when I was scrapbooking. And I got really frustrated that I, <laughs> I put glue down where I wasn't supposed to. And I was just rubbing it with my finger and I saw that it rubs off. So then I thought, hey, can I use an eraser? And I experimented and it worked. What's different on this Tomoe River paper because the paper is like super slick. So it's not erasing off as quickly as it would on regular paper. The thing about this paper is it can hold watercolor and gelatos really well. So if you like, um, you know, like junk journaling or stuff like that, you're going to love this paper. But if you're only using it as like for strictly planning and you're the type of planner that just, you know, uses stickers and stuff, you might not like this paper because you have to be super careful if you put a sticker down and then you want to take it off. If you peel it off, try to peel it off too quickly, you'll rip the paper. Here's an example. When I first got this planner and I put washi tape down, I tried to peel it off, but I peeled it off so fast that like it kind of ripped. The paper came off with it because it's so thin. So yeah, just be careful. Yeah, so I'm supposed to put the bunny one grid below the number. So right here should be it. Am I, oh wait, it was, did I put this bunny exactly where, yeah. And yet it overlaps. What am I doing wrong? 2,000 years later. Okay, so I saved you the agony of watching me redo all of my bunnies and I figured out why my formula wasn't working. It's because when I placed this first bunny down, I actually used the number two as a guide, but then the next bunny, it was over the number four, so I actually skipped the three and so that's why it didn't line up correctly. So learn from my mistake. If you're putting out, down your dividers, just start off with two and then don't use the numbers as a guide, but just use your actual dividers as the guide so that you can get them placed evenly without them overlapping. So there they are, all my little Molang bunnies. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I'm so happy with this. And I was thinking, since I'm not doing the traditional divider thing that shows what month each um, tab is, I am just going to write the months on the back so that if I ever need to flip through to a month quickly, I can just flip it over and look at the month on this side. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's see, I'm going to use a very skinny pen, one of my favorites, the Muji 0.38. Again, most of my favorite supplies are in my Amazon shop, so if you want to support me, and if you're going to shop on Amazon anyway, I would love it if you go to my Amazon shop and click on the link, because they give me like a couple cents per transaction. I'm going to start writing the months, and I'm going to speed this up again, and put some music, and I'll be back. My months are labeled on the back of the Molang bunnies so that when you look at it from here it just it's purely aesthetic very cute and then this side is the functional side so next I'm gonna put in my dividers and I am going to use these dividers these wonderful Mickey Mouse ear pink dividers from Alexa uh, she has an Instagram called at type A for Alexa and she sells custom dividers for I think any kind of planner. 
I met her before, but I met her again at the Sunshine State Planners monorail crawl and she's so cool and she was kind enough to gift these dividers to me they're made for the Hobonichi weeks look how cute those tabs are okay like I'm loving all the pink give me all the Mickey Mouse stuff I love it if you're ever looking for dividers check out type A for Alexa um, yeah so I'm gonna set some of these up I don't think I need all four but we'll see cool thing about her dividers is that she made it so that they slip right into your page which I absolutely love because once you put it in there it's not going anywhere it's not gonna fall out um, but you can also easily take it in and out yourself and I love how um, thick this plastic is it's really good quality I'm excited about this because you can use this as a pencil board or pen board whatever you call it basically this paper is so thin that when you write with your pen it's nice to have something sturdy behind it so that you're not like bleeding through to the next page just in case so you can use that so the first one will be for the current month we're in April right now so I'm gonna slip that in let's see how easy that is yep it's pretty easy just like how I expected so that just oh, I'm just I'm being really careful because I'm still not used to this paper and I don't want to rip it but I'm sure you can go much faster than that <laughs> so that's for the months I think I might use some of my alphabet stickers from my shop they're called llama alphas they're from the um, the llama collection that's in my shop I kind of wish they were all yellow so maybe I'll redo the sticker sheet and just make several sheets of just one color, like a whole sheet of blue, whole sheet of pink, whole sheet of yellow, and a whole sticker sheet of green. Let me know if that's something that you would like in the shop. I feel like, me personally, I would love more alphabet stickers. Let me know what colors you want in the comments down below. So the next divider is going to go on my current week. It would make more sense to do put it in like the week after the week that I'm working on so that it's already like prepped to be a pencil board or pen board. What do you call it? Can you tell me in the comments? Is it a pen board or a pencil board? I don't know. Do we even have a word for it? Maybe we're just making it up ourselves. Who knows? I'd have to go to like check pens and see if they have a word. Yeah, so I'll do that. So I, I put it in for the week in advance so that when I work on this week I already have a hard surface on this side and then I'll just have to use something on this side so I'm gonna use these stickers again and I'll speed this up yeah, I'm gonna use three dividers so the last one will be for the notes page which is all the way back here so I'll put it exactly where it starts I already have some ideas of what I want to do in the notes section so if you want to see how I set up my notes section give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you want to see that or leave a comment down below and let me know slide in there Oh gosh, if Alexa watches this video, she's probably going to be like laughing at me <laughs> because of like how I'm putting the dividers in. That was not like smooth and classy at all. Okay, so those are my dividers all set up. My little Mickeys, so cute. So I have one for a month. And then the next one is for the week I'm in. And then just stuff. So now that all the stuff that's going to be poking out is placed. I'm gonna put my fancy schmancy cover. Look at this everyone. Look at that. I made that myself. Yes, I made it myself and I'm so proud because there weren't any tutorials on YouTube. I couldn't find any. So I just used my knowledge of my fuse tool and how book covers work when I was back in school and I made my own shaker cover. I can definitely post a tutorial video on this if you all want, but 
If you want to see that tutorial video, all I ask is that you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know. So I'm going to slip this in. I like the that it says hobo, but most likely I'm going to washi tape that up. I'm not sure yet because it's a commitment and I've seen other people put the washi tape and it's so freaking cute. But I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to stick in Mallow, dressed up as a unicorn, right inside. And I got the soft cover. So it like bends and goes right into covers really easily. And there you go. Ooh, that's so cute. So that's my Hobonichi for now. There's still some more that I want to do. I want to dress up the months here on this yearly calendar. Um, but I'm going to make my own stickers to stick on. So that's going to be for another day. And then now that I put this unicorn mallow in there, I still feel like I should be decorating this part. I want to do something cute here and then also do something cute back here. So those are the two things that I want to do to finish setting up my Hobonichi. But I think that's going to be for another day. So maybe there'll be a part two. Or I just might do it and then show it to you all on Instagram and in our Facebook group. So be sure to join our Facebook group. I'll leave the link in the description box. And then also follow me on Instagram. I'm at the Modest Cat. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this. And I hope you had fun setting up my Hobonichi together. If you have any questions about anything that I did today in this video, please leave a comment down below. I will definitely reply. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.